In this session, I would like to tell you about introduction to website designing. So you know about website. So if you want to share any kind of information through worldwide, then you need one online website. So if you want to create a kind of website, we have to learn some technical tools. Those are HTML, CSS, Postgres, JavaScript, and some other advanced tools also be there. So that here in this course, you will learn about what is HTML4 and what are the tags it had. And I told you about what is HTML5 and its elements. So with the help of that elements, how we can frame one website. And you will learn the most important HTML5 elements also. So those are really helps to create one structure of the frame website layout. So as well as for that website layouts, you need to assign some CSS. In the sense, if you want to create any response website, then you need to use and assign some CSS. There we, we had a lot of tools is there. There in the tools, I told you very important tools. There you can see CSS version 3.0 styles is there. I explained about all those gradient, doctrine, drop shadow, etc etc as well as here you can see there is a flex box also be there that one also from version 3.0 css version 3.0 version by using this flex box we can create one response website also i told you about all those topics here in the css version 3.0 as well as there is a positions is there and positions also the most important to align the objects for your website as well as here you can see there is a media queries also be there this is one kind of responsive functionality can able to use without using can able to assign responsive features to our website without using bootstrap so media queries also making a good role to make a responsive website and there is another framework is there bootstrap is a, another framework here in this bootstrap i explained you version 5.1.3 version so you can see there is in a class attributes is there so this one is most important if you want to use bootstrap then you have to know about all the class attributes for each and every division so that uh, you can assign uh, different kinds of colors. You can assign some alignment uh, values also with the help of the ports of class attributes. There in this class attribute, you will see some 12 column grid system is there. To implement responsive website or to design responsive website, uh, you need to use this 12 column grid system. Then after that, you have to study about this one also. With, this, uh, with the help of this 12 column grid system, we can create responsive website. I explained you about this topic in our session. So there is a components also be there. What does mean by components? Why we should use them? And how we can use, how we have to use those components to make a website. Those are the most important topics which I explained in this course. So you will learn about JavaScript. This is most important. If you want to learn some advanced topic like React, Angular, etc etc then you need to know about this javascript variable there in that variables you have to learn about this global variable and local variable also so there is a quite different uh, there is a quite uh, very different uh, differences between this global and the local variable as well as there is a function is there and some other data types also be there data types in the sense it will store some information to these variables so that the, you will learn about the data types also as well as functions also stores some information i explained all those topics here in this course and after that events are making crucial role in every website while you are hitting button there is a mouse events is the hit event is the keyboard event is the forms events is there so there are different kinds of events also be there in this session i told you about how we can create how to use these tools for a better website after learning this course you will get the satisfaction as well as you have you can create different kinds of layouts after this course